in this video we are going to convert sawhorse into newman projection now in this example you can see this sawhorse projection is in the staggered form that is one is pointing upwards and one is pointing downwards here so this is a staggered form if both are pointing upward means it is eclipsed if both are pointing downward means it is eclipsed but one is pointing up and one is pointing down so it is a staggered form this sawhorse projection staggered form is converted into newman projection staggered form first then we will convert this newman projection eclipsed form if it was in a eclipsed form then we will convert into eclipsed then into staggered it is in the staggered form so we are converting into newman projection staggered first then converting into newman projection eclipsed now see this example this is the sawhorse projection now this is the front carbon and these are the groups which are attached to the front carbon and this is the rear carbon and these are the groups which are attached to the rear carbon now let's first write the staggered form here that is a dot and a circle this is the staggered newman projection now let's see this front carbon here in the newman projection front carbon is represented by a dot and the rear carbon is represented by a circle so for the front carbon the groups which are attached is phenyl br and oh so here as it is same thing i am writing here here right i am writing the ph and this side this left side is br so i am writing this br here and right side is oh so i am writing this oh here so this is the front carbon and this dot is also a front carbon now we have represented the groups on the front carbon correctly now we have to represent the rear carbon groups so the groups which are att attached to the rear carbon are ch3 nh2 and cl so see here here we are, we are having nh2 on the left side and cl on the right side so i am representing this nh2 here cl here and ch3 here we have represented the all things on the circle why because it represents the rear carbon in the newman projection whereas this dot represent the front carbon see here front carbon groups are exactly represented like this only and back carbon that is rear carbon groups are also represented but they are represented on the circle we have got the newman projection staggered form now we have to convert this newman projection staggered form into newman projection eclipsed form now let's write the eclipsed form first that is a front carbon and a rear carbon now to convert newman projection staggered into newman projection eclipsed we have to rotate front carbon by 180 degree see here this is the front carbon that is this dot represents the front carbon so we have to rotate this front carbon by 180 degree to get the eclipsed form here so now if i rotate this phenyl by 180 degree this will come exactly opposite to this side so exactly opposite to this position so i will represent the ph here and now if i rotate this br by 180 degree this will come exactly opposite to this position so this br position will come here now if i rotate this oh by 180 degree i am rotating this oh because it is present on the front carbon so if i rotate it by 180 degree this will come exactly opposite to this side so i will represent the oh here now we have done the representation of this 
front carbon groups now we have to write the back carbon groups that is rear carbon groups there is no change in the representation of this uh, back carbon that is rear carbon groups but we have to write in a small line like this why because they are present behind the phenyl here so here is a ch3 and here is a cl which is present for a rear carbon and here is a nh2 which is present on a back carbon the angle between these two is 0 degree that means nh2 is present behind the oh and cl is present behind the br and nh sorry ch3 is present behind the ph like this now we have got newman projection eclipsed form now we have learned the conversion of sawhorse to newman projection thank you for watching